subscribe to our youtube channel and press the bell icon to get the latest updates hello viewers welcome to the fast profits daily myself rajesh bhatia nifty has came back very very strongly this week if you look at we made a low of around 15735 back towards the level of around 16400 nearly we have tested 16400 uh, in today's session and this recovery has been very very uh, a convincing move uh considering the fear on the street uh it is very very important that the momentum turns back towards the uh, positive side but this fear is very very extreme let me show you the chart first look at this chart this is the monthly chart of nifty and if you look at the below uh, the panel over there this is the fear and greed indicator now if you look at the boxes marked the fear has been very very extreme what we saw in right in 2008 2009 where the markets fell uh, 2020 when markets fell back in 2015 uh, 16 it was a similar fear and back in 2022 may we are witnessing the similar level of fear into the uh, uh, d street and this fear is very very important now if you look at all the fears the lows were marked when the fear was very very extreme back in 2009 look at the lows back in 2015 uh, 15 16 look at the lows and then the rally back in 2020 uh, we all know that pandemic uh, hit was the v shape recovery the market has hit a low and uh, the fast and furious rally happened uh, again back into the 2022 into the may now uh, the fear is very very extreme but is this the bottom well let's look at uh, some of the charts which uh, indicates and what are the risk uh, if in case uh, this is not the bottom and what are, what level one should look at to uh, mark this as a bottom so let's look at the second as i am using the top down approach moving on from monthly to now weekly chart so this is the weekly chart on your screen over here most importantly uh, this is the most convincing chart where i think uh, uh, this support is a good demand zone 15671 we made a low 15735 we made a higher low over here and again the higher lows are very very crucial and if you remember if you look at the blue line over there uh, back in 2021 we were resisting somewhere around uh, 15431 still a uh, few points here and there 15431 few points here and there uh, it is acting as a good support zone if you look at the lower panel here on the rsi RSI made a lower low, which is again a bullish uh, hidden divergence over here, where prices are not making a new low, but the RSI is making the new low, which is again a bullish uh, uh, hidden divergence, and the momentum is coming back very very strongly, forming the higher low over here. Similarly, if I look at the daily chart as well, uh, the similar structure is happening. So with the weekly RSI, with the daily RSI, both are showing positive divergence over here, uh, the hidden divergence. and prices are forming higher low not breaking the previous swing low of 15671 is indicating a good support area well is this convincing to buy uh, the nft and form the bottom let's look at one more chart the daily chart on your screen over here this is the bullish bet harmonic pattern so bullish bet uh, the harmonic patterns are basically calculated using the multiple fibonacci numbers and they are uh, reversal in nature and if you look at the structure over here uh, till 15671 is not breached this pattern will continue to remain uh, uh, intact and it signs the bullish uh, pattern we made a low of uh, 15735 739 multiple times uh, come came back very very strongly back towards 16300 plus levels uh, in today's session and the momentum is getting stronger and stronger most importantly if we look at Uh, the yesterday trading sessions where nifty was more than up by more than 400 points all the stocks into the nifty 50 ended on a positive note which is again a breath wise a good confirmation that the momentum is uh, coming back be in the back on the uh, short covering rally into the some of the stocks be it the bullish momentum but yes more out all 50 stocks ended on a positive note again a breath is indicating the bullish tone coming on to the markets back again now uh if i look at i i add the harmonic with the harmonic pattern if i add the uh, directional moment indicator or adx what we called 
If you look at the chart over here, the below panel uh, again the same structure with the below panel. If you look at uh, the red line is negative directional indication, the blue line is positive, and uh, the uh, black line is ADX. So which means that the ADX is moving higher, which means the momentum is getting stronger and stronger. With the negative uh, di, uh, di direction index, which is sloping negative now the, on the on to the southwards and the positive di, uh, di turning northwards, which indicate that yes, the bulls are getting uh, an upper hand into the momentum. Still, the positive uh, crossover above the negative is yet to come, but the as of now, uh, on the first glance, it indicates that the momentum is coming back into the bullish tone with the ADX, ADX as well uh, heading higher indicates the bulls are getting stronger and stronger. What could be the risk over here? And what is the confirmation that this bottom is in place? Let me show you one chart which indicates that the risk is very, very higher. Now, if you look at this chart, uh, when the fall started right from 17,400 back to the uh, 15,735, 17,750 uh, levels, uh, there are few gaps. And this gap, which I consider it as a runaway gap, uh, this gap will act as a major resistance zone. So 16,500, 16,650 zone, uh, precisely if I look at 16, I guess 16,484 to 16,650, till this hurdle is not crossed. I think uh, still there is a, a, a cautious sign for bulls as of now, though this is a uh, bounce. Uh, if in case it, the level, the hurdle is not crossed, this could be termed as a dead cat bounce and we might see a uh, lower levels again. Yes, 15,671, 15,400 will play a crucial support zone now. But yes, for bulls uh, to mark this as a bottom uh, for a short term, uh, 16,650 should be taken out uh, in a convincingly way uh, because this gap will play a huge resistance zone because considering the runaway gap, because we saw the gap down opening and the follow up selling uh, very aggressively. So this can be termed as a runaway gap and runaway gap marks a huge resistance and support zone into the future trends. So for short term point of view, uh, if 16,484, 16,650 not taken out, uh, probably we might see a range bound to negative bias uh, into the coming weeks. Uh, and if that is taken out, we might see uh, 17,300, 17,500 levels again onto the uh, Nifty. So being up here, yes, I think from a long term perspective, from an investment perspective, you should accumulate uh, this deep uh, into a stocks where you think that uh, there is a huge uh, opportunity. And uh, the, if you think the fundamental stocks uh, is very, very strong into some of the stocks, slow and steady accumulate those stocks. Uh, I believe, uh, yes, uh, those short term uh, bottom is not in place, but 15,400, 15,671 will be a crucial support zone for Nifty uh, in the future term. Signing off, Prijesh Bhatia.